the single most economic thing you can do in your garden is invest in a packet of seeds. Now, everything, including our rooster, is setting seed and sowing seed all the time, all around us. Everything's regrowing and regenerating. And as gardeners, buying seed and sowing seed, that connects us to that cycle, which is such an important part of what we do. But before we start sowing seeds, we need to check that our soil is ready to receive. There's an easy test, which is basically dig your hand in, should go through it nice and easily and come up and the soil should fall away through it. So this soil has been pre-dug with compost, there's a bit of grit in it and it's got fine particles because you want fine particles so that the roots of your plants can easily grow through them. Every seed packet on the back tells you how deep and how far apart you should sow your seeds. That's the important information that even I actually read sometimes. Carrots though, they go into quite a shallow drill. Now a drill is a channel in the soil. You can use your finger to drag a shallow drill. So a shallow drill is probably about fingertip deep or centimetre deep. A lot of plants have quite small seeds and we sow them knowing that we're going to thin them afterwards. But even still, you can just be quite careful how far apart you sow your seeds. And don't worry about it, relax and enjoy sowing seed because you are right at the beginning of the growth cycle and there will be things you can do along the way to get your plants to the right spacings and the right size. So that's as simple as just scattering those seeds along the drill. All I'm gonna do now is brush the soil back over the seeds and just gentle firm pressure, which lets me know that the seeds have got good contact with the soil. All I need to do now to start the germination process is to give these seeds a drink. Very important with your watering can though, don't water in like this because you are just gonna end up with a deep furrow and all your seeds are gonna get washed away. Keep the rose fitting on your watering can and just gently let it rain. Finally, just so that you know what's where, mark your trench. And the exciting bit now is you go away and you wait. 